Hey everyone, I'm back and this is now upgraded to a category 5 Hurricane Dorian. It has 220 mile an hour gusts and around 200 mile an hour winds. And it's heading to St. Patrick, Florida. That's where it's going to hit landfall, St. Patrick, Florida. This hurricane is pretty big, as you can see it right now. Uh, it's passing over one of the Bahama Islands and is heading directly for St. Patrick uh, on the side of the uh, Florida coast uh, as well. You're going to get backlash in Orlando. you get back backlash everywhere. It's going to be a lots of rain, torrential rain. As you can see, this thing is gigantic. It's a Category 5 now. It is, wow, it is big. Take a look at this thing. This thing is big. This thing has uh, gained speed, it's gained uh, power, and it's getting bigger as we talk. This is a very heavy, powerful hurricane. Category 5, there'll be lots of rain, lots of winds, lots of damage. If it, if Hopefully this thing will turn, but CNN has called it perfectly. It's going to hit right around St. Patrick. Uh, above Port St. Lucie. Orlando is going to get hit with tons of rain. All of Florida is going to get hit with tons of rain. This thing is gigantic. Look at this thing. It's uh, it's a Category 5. Winds up to 220 miles an hour as it's passing over one of the Bahama Islands right now. And it's around 12 hours out of hitting mainland, I would say. The effects are just starting in Florida. They're gonna, you're going to get a lot of rain in Miami, a lot of rain everywhere. Uh, hopefully, it'll stay on the same path and maybe blow away with the Gulf String. Well, hopefully, that will do, it'll do that. Hopefully, something will happen where it'll just blow back out into the middle of the Atlantic. But it, right now, it does not look good. Uh, okay, get ready for a big one. This is coming. Uh, be prepared, people in Puerto, people in Florida, be safe, and hopefully everything will work out. Get away from the ocean, that's what I would do right now. Alright, be safe Florida, God bless.